Hey guys, Jamin with PC Monkey. I'm bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Uh, I have an Acer laptop here, and I'm going to show you how to address a no-boot device error. Uh, sometimes it's no-bootable device found, uh, boot device not found. Um, any sort of error like that, where your Windows is not booting up because it can't find something to boot off of. Uh, so this can be a software issue, it can be a hardware issue. I'm going to show you how to diagnose for both, uh, find out what's wrong, and then obviously how to fix it. Now before I start this troubleshooting process, keep in mind if you have any questions or comments, if you see something that gets you a little lost, uh, check out the frequently asked questions below in the description that could save you some time getting an answer. Uh, if you don't see your question there, leave me a comment. I do try to get back to you a few times a day at least. Uh, so to start off the process, um, first thing to do is unplug any external devices, any, any flash drives or CDs that, that could be in there. Um, any external hard drives, unplug everything that plugs into the computer. What could be happening is your computer could be trying to boot off of one of these. Uh, it doesn't find an operating system on it, so then it gives you this no boot device error. Uh, so for about 10% of you, that'll fix your problem. If that doesn't work, you're going to try to reseat your hard drive. Uh, what that involves is unplugging your hard drive and then plugging it back in, making sure the connection is secure and correct. Uh, there'll be a video link below in the description on how to access a hard drive in an Acer laptop. Uh, your laptop may be a little different depending on model. So if you want to search for a hard drive replacement video on your exact model, or leave me a message below and I can try to find one for you. Uh, but th again, that would be step two. You would unplug the hard drive, plug it back in. If those two things don't work, then we're going to go into your BIOS on your Acer laptop. So I'm going to shut the computer down, and then I'm going to start it up and show you how to get into BIOS. So to get into BIOS on most Acer laptops, you're going to hit F2 on startup. Sometimes it's escape. So here's your BIOS. Uh, yours may look a little different based on the year of your computer and the model, uh, but it still will have all the information we're looking for. You're going to search first of all for your date and time settings. So I don't see it here on my main screen. I'm going to arrow over, some of you tab over, and here it is, system time, system date. So make sure that these values are correct. If these values are wrong, it can cause all sorts of errors in your computer starting up and trying to boot your base system and then your operating system. Once you've changed these, uh, save and exit, F10, and then try restarting your computer. If your computer works fine after this, then you found your problem. And as a side note, if you have to do this every time you turn on your computer, you have to get in here, change the system date and time before your computer boots up correctly. If you have to do that every time, that's a sign that your CMOS battery is dying. That's what keeps your base system powered even when the computer's off. If your CMOS battery is dying, your base system is losing power when the computer shuts off and it's resetting your date and time. So if that's the case, Check out the video link below in the description. It'll be a video on how to access your CMOS battery and then you can replace it. If that doesn't solve your problem, we're gonna try to change one more setting in BIOS. You're gonna be looking for your setting that says either legacy or CSM or your setting that says UEFI. Now, you may have to look around a little bit like we did before, but it's usually gonna be in your boot tab. So I'm gonna arrow over to boot and there it is, UEFI. And again, we're looking for UEFI Legacy or CSM? Uh, legacy and CSM are kind of the same thing. But basically what we're doing here is we're switching between them. So if you're like me and you see UEFI, you're changing to legacy or CSM. And if you see legacy or CSM here, you're changing to UEFI. Now the way to do this will vary um, in different bio systems. But with me, I, I highlight it, I hit enter, and UEFI is enabled. I'm going to disable it, hit enter, and now I've disabled UEFI. Some of you may have drop down menus where you select legacy or, or CSM, but however you can change it, change it. Some of you, if you're unable to change to legacy, it could be because you have to change a couple other settings. The computer sometimes doesn't like us changing to legacy. So sometimes you may have to go into your security tab and disable secure boot. Um, and then some of you may also do a second step and enable the legacy boot option. So however you have to do it, change between those two, um, save and exit, and restart your computer. If this fixes your computer, we've identified BIOS as the issue. So at this point, if that's still not working, we've ruled out a loose issue with your hard drive by reseeding it. We've ruled out any BIOS uh, base system issues. Now we're gonna zero in on either your hard drive or your operating system. In my computer shop, I would now use software I have to test your hard drive. 
But since you probably don't have that software, and since Acer doesn't come with any built-in diagnostic software, we're going to try just skipping that and reinstalling your operating system. There will be a video link below in the description on how to reinstall an operating system in an Acer computer. If that works, then it was just a, an operating system error and, and you fixed it. If your operating system won't install or keeps erroring out, then we've identified your hard drive as the issue. At that point, you would replace your hard drive and then install Windows onto the new one. And again, there will be a video link below in the description for how to do that with your hard drive. So again, if you had any questions or comments, if you got lost at any point in this video or in any of the related videos that you're using down below, check out the frequently asked questions in the description and those may be able to save you some time uh, getting an answer. If you don't see a question there, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Um, please like and share if this is helpful. And if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys.